driving in Haiti can be an adventure. Do I have never lost a car yet. Once in a while you run over a lizard. Oh, okay. As you move through the crowded streets of Port-au-Prince, Haiti, you experience traffic and the thousands of people all vying for space, sometimes the same space. Then, as you look closer, you begin to see people, people with a past, a present, and a future, with individual experiences of life that have shaped them where they are today. You realize that God knows them. He loves them. But do they know it yet? How do we reach the thousands of people that are in front of us and the many more we have already passed by? Maybe God wants us to reach out to one or two and really have a spiritual influence on their lives. By observing where God is working and joining Him, our lives can impact a life for Christ. Haiti is a beautiful place to be. Uh, we've got some good people to work with. I, I've enjoyed working with the church leadership. Uh, I've even enjoyed some of the missionaries working with them. It's been uh, it's been a lot of fun getting to know new people. I, I really like people, and I've really appreciated the opportunity to uh, work with them. I have learned a lot and I have learned a lot from the Haitian people. I, I think of those uh, people we've been working with, even in the mission, I think of Danielle, uh, my assistant. I, I've learned to uh, appreciate him and love his uh, dedication to, to helping the mission. Uh, I think of National Superintendent uh, Nathaniel Bonani, uh, an outstanding leader that uh, I, I really feel like we've got, built a good working relationship and a friendship more than a working relationship, it's a friendship we have between us and I appreciate that man so much and I, I take his advice and I'm actually looking to him uh, for guidance and uh, because he is here, this is his country and he's a, he's a wise man, a godly man and I, I just, uh, just depend on his guidance as we try to minister together. At present, uh, about uh, more than 100 uh, uh, churches and we have uh, more than 6,000 Wesleyan members and the Wesleyan uh, pastors they feel that uh, education is uh, the key to development that the reason why in Haiti every local church has a, a school as a day school and when we are having prayer meetings we see many people attending uh, these prayer meetings they are angry for the gospel and it is our goal to, eta to establish a Wesleyan church in every city of the country. By the year 2042, which uh, we, uh, by this year, the Wesleyan church will have 100 years by the year 2042. And we want at this time to have uh, 250 churches. Because of your help in the past, Many people have come to know Jesus Christ as their Savior and Lord. And I believe that by your prayers and your help, many people will continue to know Christ as their Savior and Lord. Cynthia Matthew, uh, she's been very active in junior church. I started wondering how and what am I going to do with this great task. It's not something that is new to me because I worked with children back home in Jamaica and I worked with children on Laguna for 
11 years. We have lots of young people who are very enthused and I think they are called to work with children. I prepare materials to send out in the districts so that they'll have stories to teach in the children's church churches based on Bible, Bible stories. I don't do it by myself. I have to give a lot of thanks to Madam Steve because she works hand in hand with me. And I can honestly say had it not been for her, I would not be able to accomplish this. She prepares the stories for me, get them all ready, then I put them on poster papers, fix, make stories, and send them out to the districts. Uh, it got started when um, she asked me for advice on uh, uh, how to make some flannel graph pictures, and she, and she shared her vision for the children. And uh, I saw that uh, it was a little overwhelming for her, such a big project, and uh, I offered her some advice. And, and I, I, like, I like working with uh, crafts and stuff, and every child is very precious, and so, uh, and the Lord has a plan for each child. If I'm obedient to him and doing whatever he asks me to do, making materials, helping Cynthia in any way to hold seminars, uh, and it all trickles down to the local leader in, who picks up that material and story and, and goes to her own room or house and read the Bible story and, and correlate it to go along with the flip chart story. Uh, it all works together in God's plan to uh, save that child and also, uh, who knows, save other family members and, and grow up to be a leader in the church. So I'm, I'm just happy that the Lord is using me and I'm, I'm glad that I've been obedient to Him. One of the ministries we've been involved in is uh, running the guest house. And uh, I've enjoyed it. Like I said, I enjoy people. We have uh, many work teams and visitors who come through our homes and it's not only what uh, a work team may contribute and the way they could help uh, us or the Haitian people, we see it as a ministry to them because as we uh, help them to get to know the Haitian people and to get to know the church and experience life in Haiti, uh, see how the missionaries live and work. Uh, they can go home uh, with a clearer picture of what life is here in Haiti and they can uh, pray, have, they would know how better to pray for the missionaries and pray for the Haitian people, pray for the work. And so um, we feel that it's, it's a good ministry uh, back and forth. My son was smaller, of course, younger than my daughter and we needed to find some uh, Haitian young men and girls that they could play with and uh, asking Daniel for his advice. Uh, Tony was one of them that came to the house and he's grown up with our children. Uh, Cindy uh, was instrumental in leading to the Lord and it's been exciting to see him grow and mature in the Lord. And ben does not have a brother so I would say that he's like a brother to Benjamin. He came from a family that uh, typical Haitian family where he left the home when he was younger. He was asked to leave because of uh, too many mouths to feed. He moved into a friend's home, has been living there, and uh, we've been able over these last 10, 12, 11 years to just make a friendship with him. He's sponsored in school now through uh, World Hope, uh, Hope for the Children program. He's feeling called to the ministry. He's also has shared with us uh, his willingness, his desire to do such things as accounting. Uh, he's uh, doing excellent in school, straight-A student, and he's looking uh, to the future of how God would want him to minister. And one of the areas that we are desperately in need of in Haiti is good administration in our churches. About a year ago, uh, Joyce felt like we, uh, she felt the Lord speaking to her about a Bible study. And uh, she mentioned it to Tony, because that's who we talked to. We asked him if he think there's anyone in the community that might want to come and uh, he was very encouraged by that. This is a Bible study that is really growing. 
they are really uh, growing in the Lord and, and for their love for Him. We've had um, a boy named Frankie, who one of the boys who stays here with us, has come to know the Lord. And uh, he's always asking a lot of questions, uh, eager to learn. And so we feel that this is uh, another way that the Lord is using us. Tony and a friend of his and my son and uh, two other young Haitian ladies come up and we have a Bible study every uh, Sunday night. Well, as he uh, was studying the words and uh, getting, getting more involved in the, in the word, he felt that God was talking to him to try to reach out to his family. So I went down and told my mom and dad if they will want me to do it, because I, I told him that I, I feel the Lord speaking in my heart to minister to you through Bible study every Friday night. And they said, sure, you can do that. You can come. You're welcome. And I went down there, and all of them, almost all of them become Christian right now. But we don't even, we don't, it's not that long time. It's only like, for five months, six months, um, except for my dad and one of my brother, and all of them became Christian. And I think the Lord, the Lord knew what, the Lord, he, he knew what was going to happen, and I didn't know it till become a Christian. You know, that's why I can feel He's doing something special in the Bible study, in both Bible studies. The future, uh, I see the church taking more responsibility. I think the future is the nation will uh, take a little bit more of a back seat in the ministry here in Haiti. We'll still be here. They still need our help and our guidance, but in a different role. I look at all the accomplishments that's been made uh, through World Hope in the computer schools. I look at the medical work that how it's been improved through people giving and supporting the medical work. I look at all the big picture of how the Lord has been working in Haiti and in the Wesleyan Church here, and it's been, it is exciting. But I, I, I sense the fact that it's not the big picture. It's, I look back and I say, I refer back to Tony. I refer back to Jebby, a young man that works in the house here and does maintenance. We have made contacts with those people. That's what counts. It's your personal contact with the Haitian people. And I think of Daniel, a great servant of the Lord. He's worked for the mission 20 years. But he's not just a worker to me, he's my friend. And I think if anything's been accomplished, I think it's that that one-on-one -on -one ministry we've had with some, some people in the community.